Reddit is currently in the middle of controversy after introducing new fees aimed at third-party developers. Users are protesting this change, leading to a number of subreddits temporarily being made private, raising questions about the future of Reddit and its relationship with its users. This issue highlights exactly what's wrong with Web2 social platforms. In this video, we'll discuss the Reddit API drama, how decentralized social media offers a solution, and why Deso is paying $500,000 to developers in order to create a decentralized Reddit competitor. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video for that. The Reddit protests currently taking place were sparked by the company's announcement that it would be introducing new fees for third-party developers. These fees would apply to any developer who wanted to access Reddit's API, which is the data that powers third-party apps like Apollo. The fees were met with widespread backlash from the Reddit community. Many users and developers argued that the fees were unfair and unnecessary, and that they would make it more difficult for people to use Reddit. The protest led to a number of subreddits temporarily being made private. This was a symbolic gesture from the moderators of these subreddits who were protesting the new fees. The reality is, every single Web2 social media platform can and will take similar actions to Reddit. Instagram and Facebook can delete your content, Google can wipe you from their search algorithm, and Twitter can censor you how they see fit. The Reddit protests are yet another example of growing dissatisfaction with centralized social media platforms. This is why the creation of decentralized social media is so crucial. Decentralized social is a new approach to social media that seeks to address the problems inherent in centralized platforms. Centralized social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit are all owned and operated by corporations. This gives the company complete control over its platform, including its content, moderation policies, and monetization options. This concentration of power has led to a number of problems, including censorship, data privacy issues, and a lack of user control. Because decentralized social media platforms are built on blockchain technology, this gives users ownership of their data and content and allows them to participate in governance of the platform. The DSO blockchain in particular offers a number of solutions to all of these problems. DSO gives users ownership of their data and content. This means that users can be confident that their data is not being exploited or misused by the platform. Also, DSO is community driven. This means that users have a say in how applications are run. This helps ensure that the platform is aligned with the interest of its users. And lastly, DSO is censorship resistant. Users can be confident that their content won't be censored by any moderators on the platform. But that's not all. DSO is offering up to $500,000 in grants to developers who can build a decentralized Reddit competitor. If you're a developer who's fed up with Web2 walled gardens and believes in the power of decentralized technology, then this is your chance. Make sure to check out this Twitter thread from DSO's founder, Natter al Naji in order to learn more. I'll link it down below. DSO has the potential to reshape the social media landscape and empower its users. If you want to learn more, head over to DSO.com and make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.